What's going on Japan? Tua Cruz here with... Tundes. We're here with Tuan Shan and Tuan's on her road bike today. Yeah. And we're also here with Suzuki-chan. <laughs> we came over here on our car today. This is our first time driving the car with both of our bikes to go for some cycling. And today, ima doko ni imasu ka? Sore nani? Ichi san hachi tawa. Yes. Ichi nomiyashi. Gifu Gifu? Mada Aichi desho? I think we're still in Aichi, I'm not actually sure. But we actually drove up to Gifu today. Tuan went over to Inuyama Castle, so she filmed a cool little walking video over there. And we're doing a little bit of a sightseeing day kind of day today. And there's a really awesome cycling course over here that I've been wanting to check out for a long time. So that's what we're doing today. We're checking out the 138 Tower Park here. And there's supposedly a really nice cycling lane, so we're gonna go check that out. And it's a pretty big day for us because it's our first time fitting both of our bikes here in Suzuki-chan. So anyway, it's really hot today. Really hot. <laughs> yeah, so atsui. Yeah, so atsui. Uh, so atsui. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to get some water though to begin our ride. Yeah. So there's some drinking fountains over there right by the course. Let's head over there, get some drinks, fill up and go. Yeah, no, let's go. go. Oh no, my god. <laughs> oh my god. No. Stato. Stato. Let's go. So the other really cool thing right here is there's this parking lot and you may not think a parking lot is a big deal but this is actually a free parking lot and it is huge. We're here on a weekday so there's not many people here right now and that's a really nice thing about this area is we get the free parking. Anyway we're gonna get some drinks right now so of course we're gonna go with our sports drink but this is a little expensive actually this is 160 yen. It looks like this one over here we got some special cheap sports water. <laughs> And this is 120 yen, so we're gonna try this out, save a little bit of money. We got our one coin. This is the 500 yen coin. So everything under $10 here in Japan is a coin. So we're gonna get two of these. Uh, dozo. Oh, we gotta put some money back in. Oh. There we go. So we got our drinks. This should hold us over for now. We can get some more cold ones later. Look at how she's got these bikes holding up here in place. That is pretty impressive. I feel like even the slightest touch is gonna knock this over. Let's pop in some juice. <laughs> Coffee, her style. Money! Oh, money star. Uh, ten chai. Yeah. And before we go, we can get rid of our plastic bottles here. So I think we can get pretty close over to that tower, so I'm pretty excited to see what they have here. I have ridden by here once before in the past, but I've never really done a long exploration ride here. So I'm excited to check it out. And this is my first time coming here by car. So here we go, here's the course so far. And right away, I'm really impressed. Check this out, they got the pedestrian lane, they got the cycling lane, they got some bike parking here. I don't know why you would park your bikes like this. Um, but yeah, so I think we can do a loop here. I don't think it matters which way we go, but for now, the sun is this way, so it'll look better on camera. And we wanna go check out this tower. So we're gonna start this way. Always good to make sure your bike is in working order after you get it outside of the car. Cool little underpass here. Check the brakes. Brake mo. Okay. Whoa. Wow. So high. So high. <laughs> Yeah, and there's there's some signs for the cycling road here so far, but there's no maps I haven't seen. So I was not sure when we were researching how to come over here. We weren't sure the right way to come. So let's actually check this out really quickly. It looks like we're getting off the path, but this is a, a rental cycle area. So you can rent some bikes here. I think they just have some regular city bikes. Yeah, some regular, really casual bikes. 
And right here we get a nice view of the tower. Looks like you can go all the way up to the top. Here we go, here's a nice little map. Let's check that out. So no bikes past this point. But this is actually a park. So this is the park that we're stopping at right now. It looks like they have a couple other attractions inside here, but we're mainly here to check out the cycling course. And we're right by the river here. This is the Kiso River. So I think we're gonna be cycling along that path as well. Check that out. That's pretty high. And you can see this really far from really far away over in Nagoya where we live. Anyway, let's go back to the path and continue on. The one bad thing here though is the parking lot does close at about 7 p.m. So we have to make sure we're out of here by then. Uh, this one closes at five, so this one's even earlier. Jeez, I think the one we're at was okay. So let's continue on with our journey along this nice path. This is beautiful. This is so nice compared to the path that we have over in Nagoya. This is actually like clearly marked. This is walking, this is cycling. There's no one out here right now this time of day. It's uh, 4 p.m. on a weekday, Wednesday. Actually, I came over here to do a, a job interview. I've been job hunting lately. As you guys know, we're looking for different positions to possibly stay here in Japan. So that's one of the reasons I drove over here. And while I was interviewing, Tung was doing some sightseeing over in Inuyama. So she filmed a video over of the castle here. This is the whole area north of Nagoya. It's really nice. And we don't make our way up here too often, unfortunately. It looks like we can go into the park over there, but I think we'll start with a, a little loop outside and then work our way back inside. If you guys have been to this park before and you have any recommendations for which way we should ride, please leave it in the comments. We might come back out here again, but so far it's really nice. It's also nice that <laughs> there's no one else out here so we get the whole lane to ourselves. But yeah, check out these signs. There's, there's nothing there. There's no marker telling you where you are on the course, like what's ahead or any kind of information. It just says the rules. So that's a little unfortunate. I do have my map here on my computer though, but it doesn't look like I'm getting any extra special information on here. Nagoya no saikori michi to kurabetara do. They show. Yeah, usually the bike paths in Japan aren't, aren't this nice. This one's really special. Oh, they got a bike rack here. I guess in case you, you want to stop here and go inside the park. They're really strict about riding your bikes inside parks. They really don't like you doing that, especially these bigger ones. Safety first here in Japan. But so far, no special attractions on this side of the path. It's just a normal flat path and some nature around. You do hear the summer bugs right now because we're in the peak of summer heat. The semi, the cicadas. But you guys have told me you like the sound. Luckily, they don't pick up too loud in the microphone. But here we go. We got a nice shady section. But I think this path does loop around to the other side of the river. So it'd be nice to ride over there and ride parallel along the river and show you guys that scenery too. Yeah, I don't think this course is very long. Here we go, we got some barriers. And so this one says it is okay to go by bikes. Never mind. <laughs> Let's try over here, but this is way rougher than what we were just on before, but it says this is the bike lane. So we're gonna keep going and see where this takes us. Some nice grass fields over here though. Play some soccer. That's really nice. Those are pretty rare here too. Most of the soccer fields here are dirt. <laughs> and coming out here, I think, I think we gotta go this way maybe. Anyway, we'll go over this way, head towards the river and show you guys the other side of the park. We got baseball over here, baseball and soccer over here. I'm pretty confused though. The cycling course just seemed to randomly end. It said the cycling path continued this way, but it's not really showing us a, a straight direction. 
So that's, that's pretty confusing. But let's try and find our way back to something that looks like a cycling course. There's a sign saying, be careful with your speed. So maybe, let's try this road. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we just double checked a map. It looks like we can keep going this way. So we're gonna keep going east for now along the river. We saw another cyclist go ahead, so we're gonna try and stay behind him and follow him. Sometimes that's the best thing to do when you're in a new location, is just follow the people who look like they know what they're doing. <laughs> so if he wasn't here, yeah, we might've just gone straight. But yeah, it looks like, oh, this is interesting. We got a little switchback. We're gonna cut through the pedestrian section though. <laughs> oh, they got little speed bumps. This is cute. <laughs> little speed bumps. That's not that comfortable though. Oh, this is cute. This is like a little switchback with speed bumps. It's like a mini mountain road. Oh my God. Cyclocross practice. Day no yakusoku wasureta? Desureru. Oh, there she goes. Rocket blue. Looks like we got some barriers here. Uh, oh, it stops you, but you just go around here? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's annoying when they do stuff like that. I guess it makes sense if, if there were a lot of people like here at, a, at this intersection coming to stop and stuff. They don't want you just blasting through if there's kids around. So I get it. It's just weird on a day like today. I guess you could just cut through though if you, if you wanted to and you're used to these roads. But we're newbies here. It's a nice amount of nature here though. This, uh, this section over here is an elevated road. So usually on these river paths, the, the bike path is down closer to the river. So if it actually floods, the bike path will usually get flooded over and the cars, the main road will be elevated over here. And that also protects from flooding from like the neighborhoods that live over there. Asia and Japan in general has really bad flooding problems. Oh yeah, here we go. We got some sand. Let's get that. Sit Up here it is. It's so different compared to Nagoya, which is where we live. Even though we're not that far away, this is like a 45 minute to one hour drive away. It takes a little bit longer if you cycle up here because there's so much traffic and yeah, intersections and red lights and stuff. But once you're over here, things are so much more spread out. There's very few like large buildings, no skyscrapers or anything. And yeah, it's just a lot more spacious. But even though it's more spacious, the main roads themselves are are quite narrow, I found. But over here, it's really nice. We just, yeah, endless nature. This is really nice. We might have to come out here a bit more. A nice, safe place to enjoy cycling. We've got a, a nice cycling course nearby us as well, the Morikoro cycling course. A lot of you guys who've watched our videos have seen that park. And that's a five kilometer closed loop for bikes only. So it's really nice, but We've been riding about five kilometers so far, so we easily get more than a five kilometer loop out here, it seems. Sometimes it can get a little bit boring just riding the same five kilometers over again, so it's nice to mix it up, try some new trails. Yeah, this, the sports drink isn't that great. <laughs> Lesson learned, spend the extra 40 yen, get the nicer sports drink, learn from our mistake. This is the perfect time of day to ride. The weather's starting to cool down, so it just gets cooler and cooler as the sun sets. 
the bugs aren't quite as loud as they are earlier in the day. Looks like we're coming over some different terrain here. Some cobblestones. Oh, some nice graffiti over here too. Nice. Hopefully we can still keep going. You never know. Sometimes these roads are really nice. Then all of a sudden they just suddenly end. Or here you go. It looks even better. <laughs> Now we've got the blue lines on the side. So we actually just, we came out here after a nice lunch. Kirigo wa de nani o tabeta? Sushi! Sushi! Yeah! <laughs> oh, genki da ne. Yeah, ippai tabeta. Ippai tabeta. Now gotta hike and hashi deru. Yeah. Yeah, you guys know Tung is super genki, super energetic when she gets some food in her. We were looking for a place to eat and I wanted a place that was a little bit larger, a little bit more spacious, a little bit more spread out with the customers. And we haven't gotten sushi in a while. Fortunately, they have sushi restaurants all over Japan, even in the more countryside areas. So we got some nice kyakuen sushi. Tuenchon no ichiban suki no sushi wa? Ebi avocado. Maguro. Maguro. Oh, Wow, this this trail is really nice. It reminds me a lot of my trails back home in the U.S. in Michigan. We have what's called the rail to trails. So that's when they turn the old railway lines that aren't being used anymore, and they turn them into like a, a hiking trail or cycling trail. And it's generally like this. It's pretty straight. And it's got canopy on both sides, trees and stuff. So, yeah, our river path in Nagoya, if you've seen some of my other cycling videos in Nagoya, the, the river pass, it's a way different style than this. There might be some tree cover on one side in some sections, but for the most part, nothing like this. Yeah, this is really nice. Maybe not the most exciting for you guys though, watching on the, the video screen. But hopefully we'll get some nice views along the, the large river here. It's a beautiful river, the Kiso River. So I hope we do get some nice photo spots I can show you guys on today's ride. Oh, oh, oh. oh I can see the river off in the distance over there. Looks like we're elevating past here. And you can see there's a whole bunch of mountains over here. This area is just packed with mountains. Gifu Prefecture up to the north, right after Inuyama City. That's right, Inuyama City I think is a borderline city, so it's right at the border of Gifu Prefecture and Aichi Prefecture, which is where we live. So everything north of the river is Kiso. The Kiso River, I believe, is Gifu Prefecture. And then maybe south of the river, it's Aichi still. Maybe that's the borderline. I'll have to double check. Yeah, when Tuong was filming some videos earlier, it was so hot out that the camera wasn't working anymore. It had to shut down. Uh, it's, it's been insanely hot here lately, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and over 80% humidity. Not the most fun of weather to be outside in. Fortunately, it's a little bit cooler now as it's later in the day now. Here we go, we get some nicer views of the river and the mountains. Beautiful. That's the one nice thing about living over in this area is just you get a little bit more nature, a little bit more space. Beautiful grass here for the soccer fields. The mountains in the backdrop with the river there. The blues, the greens. Lovely. We got some tower here too. I'm not sure what this is for. Always be careful not to just look up. You want to make sure in front of you that no one's coming or that there's no barriers that you're about to run into. I've made that mistake far too many times. I wonder if we can ride here all the way to Inuyama Castle. That was sort of in the back of my mind. I wasn't sure if the path went all that way. So yeah, if this goes all the way to Inuyama Castle, that's where we're going to be riding today. That guy was riding a tricked out BMX bike. <laughs> I bet he's got some stories. 
That was another interesting bike, geez. All these interesting bikes out on this path. And not just interesting bikes, but interesting school bus, <laughs> maybe? Oh man, never a dull moment out here. Even in the countryside, you'll find some nice surprises like that. Oh, little dog park. And nice animal statues. Ah, great stuff out here. So I just double checked here. It looks like it wants us to turn here for the cycling road. So yeah, if you're out here, <laughs> there's already very minimal signs. And the few signs there are, they're in Japanese. So at least make sure you learn katakana, saikoringu. That's the key word to learn. We got more of these little speed bumps. And is this it? Kochika. Interesting. <laughs> I love the diversity of this path. Some parts are like super nice, super wide. Some parts are brick and some parts are just, yeah, grown over like this. Diversity. There we go. Opened up a little bit again. That's nice though, they're not making us intersect with these other busy roads. We're able to ride underneath. Sometimes the, the cycling paths here will only take you up at the top. So you gotta go down to the next intersection, go across, so more bonus points here. Yeah, we've got a good 10 kilometers so far, unobstructed cycling for the most part. I do wish they had some sort of mile markers or kilometer markers on the course that made some sense or some sort of overall map so you knew where you're going. Right now we're just sort of going blind. We're mainly going east because that's the way the sun is pointing. And also Inuyama city is this way. So hopefully we'll be able to get there get a nice view of the castle with the sunset to show you guys. That would be a perfect way to end this video. Barriers, barriers, barriers. A nice other shaded area though. Oh, some nice tennis courts right here. Ine. Blind corner. Always want to be careful here. You never know if someone's going to be riding right back towards you on the other side. Cycling Road. There we go. We got some signs. So they got some signs here. They want you to go slow. <laughs> it looks fun. Sometimes they have some really nice attractions here. All right, I'm pretty confident now that this is gonna go all the way down to Inuyama Castle. I was hesitant at first. I didn't wanna get too excited and get my hopes up because I've been disappointed so many times on these river paths, but things are looking solid. We're pretty close to Inuyama Castle now and I don't see any reason why they would stop this now and not allow us to get over there. <laughs> What's the right way? I'm guessing this is it. Very confusing though, it's not always clear where is the bike path. Sometimes they have the bark, bike markers, sometimes they don't. Lots of grass over here though, big grass fields.
Oh, this is interesting. They got a little pool here. That looks really fun. And I got the spinny wheel. And which way is it? <laughs> Jeez. This way, I'm guessing. Okay, looks like this is it. We just needed to stay to the left. This is for motorbikes only. So it looks like regular bicycles are still okay. But you do need to be careful in the more condensed areas. They don't like you cycling fast. Okay, yeah, I just saw a sign. Bike's okay, but you gotta go slow. That's all right, we're just spinning today. Oh, nice view of the river over here now. Maybe you guys can't see it on the GoPro yet, but it should come into view pretty soon. Oh, beautiful up here. Nice shade. Oh, nice river sounds too. And oh, some farming over here. They have the, the Asian style hat. You don't see that too often in Japan. You see it a lot in Vietnam. Yeah, we really want to jump in the river. What's this, a little cafe here? <laughs> Something. Wow, they really maintain this area. This is beautiful. Some people here are really, really big into gardening. We gotta make sure we're not going too far away. We do have to be back by our car before seven o'clock. It's, it's almost five o'clock now. So I think we should be okay. We give ourselves an hour to go back. And yeah, we'll just have to high gear it the way home. This is our warm up. Let's get that. Oh. 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 Okay. They got some really rusty signs here. Get off your bikes. Okay, let's get that. Oh, wow. Even I wouldn't really want to ride down that. But she did it. She's tough. There we go. We're starting to get a nice view of the Kiso River as it's opening up here. And we just checked the map actually. We're not too far away from Inuyama Castle, so nice surprise. Really happy to see that this path goes all the way over here. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy the view once we get over there. <laughs> yeah, Tung's a mountain biker. She's going the mountain bike route. And it'd be really nice to live over here in this area and have access to this trail. The other nice thing about this area is supposedly there's a lot more mountain bike trails up in this area. I've only ridden a few, but yeah, they've been really good so far. And I hear there are more, but I've yet to confirm it. But if you love nature, this seems to be the place to be compared to the city anyway. Oh, she said she saw. Oh, there it is, Inuyama Castle on site. So today's ride didn't go as expected. We were planning just to ride a couple loops around the, the park that we started at. But it looks like we're able to come all the way over here. And yeah, I'd rather show you this area. This is really beautiful. So I think we're definitely gonna have to come back out here and do some more riding. Ride the other way on this path as well. Yeah, there's no signs. This is the only frustrating thing. If you don't know your way around here, you'll get lost really easily. 
And it's the same thing with our river pass by our home area, but the river pass in our area are a lot more rough shape, kind of like this. This is really similar to the pass that, we, that we're working with. But seeing the nice quality of the pass that we've been riding so far, I was expecting a little bit more signage would be nice. Or at least just markers on the ground to let you know you're going the right way. Fortunately, I mean, you're just going along the river, so <laughs> it's easy to like find your way back and go the direction you need to go. And sometimes it's nice having different possibilities, but it also would be nice to <laughs> be confident knowing that you're taking the right way. Lots of surprises on today's ride though. Check out some of these boats. These are really long. All right, I guess you can just park your boats here. There's also a really big fireworks festival around this area. Uh, not around this river, but the next river up. There's two rivers here. One is the Kiso River and one is the Nagara River. And there's a huge fireworks festival in the summer. All those were canceled this year though. All right, we're not the only cyclist out on this road, so that means we're doing something right. And Inuyama Castle is really beautiful. It'll be cool to show you guys some different angles, some different views. Oh no. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dead end. Yeah, this is what happens. You think everything's good, you're good to go. Then the path ends, but we're so close. Even if there's no cycling path, we got to ride all the way over to the castle. We made that our goal today. Nothing's going to stop us. That's such a shame. It's so close by, but the path just ends. The only bad thing is these, these roads can be quite dangerous. So we're gonna stay on this road, I think, and hopefully find a, a way to get back down to the river again, I guess. So much for the nice, safe ride all the way there. So this is probably why the path ended here. It looks like there's a river split, another little branch off here. So we gotta go around that here. There might be a better way to get over here, but we're not sure. We're just winging it. We're gonna just use the castle as a point of reference and keep cycling that direction. So we see the castle straight ahead. Unfortunately, this road does seem to be a little bit dangerous, a little narrow and some fast cars, but we just gotta deal with it. Thankfully not on here too long. That's a, that's a really triangular house. <laughs> and oh, looks like they got some more new houses here too. And it looks like here we are on the back side. Oh, check this out. Nice little dam or bridge. That's cool. Nice view. Check this out, guys. Mountains over there, massive mountains. And nice river large bridge over here. Actually, I drove over this this morning. So we're just gonna keep going straight for a second just to show you guys this beautiful river. Oh, here we go. We got a nice little pedestrian bridge too. Hello, crows. What up? Huh. Oh, this is a good photo spot. Whoa. So what do you guys think? Was it worth the ride over here? Pretty interesting change in scenery. Yeah. So if you want to see a video of the inside of this castle, of Inuyama Castle, Tunchan filmed a brand new video today. We'll be uploading it on her channel. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Goran kudasai. And we're going to get some photos here really quick, so... Shashin time. Selfie time. We love our selfie time. All right, photo time is over. We're going to go 
head over towards the castle really quick, get a little bit of a closer view, and then we gotta start making our way back home because the sun is coming down quick. Beautiful view of the castle though. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's just cut off the cyclist, okay. Oh, a little bit of a steep kicker here. Here we are, approaching the main front part of the castle. And this is a pretty popular tourist attraction actually, especially on the weekends. Not so much on the weekdays, but yeah, all of this Chunchan filmed on her video, so you can see it all in more detail, but for now, I'll do a quick little overview. And especially this entrance is really cool with all the gates. Actually, we did cycle here together two years ago. So we've got an older Tool Cruise video on the channel as well. But it's, uh, it's only 1080p. Sorry guys. This video is 4K, 60 FPS. These guys are getting their, their photos together. So I don't want to get in their way, but... Okay, so if you want to see more of these beautiful gates, you can check out our old Inuyama castle video or uh, the video that Tuan filmed today. But unfortunately, this is about as far as we can go with our bikes without going in and paying to get in again. But this is the front gate area. And another cool part I want to show you guys before we leave here and finish up this video is straight ahead, there's actually this really popular historical road. And this is the, one of the main tourist attractions as well is you can buy a couple different snacks along this street. There's a lot of different food vendors. So I think Tung filmed a video here as well. And it is later in the day right now, so everything is starting to shut down, but you can see it's got this cool kind of vibe here. And especially when you look back the other way, you can see the castle sort of overlooking the whole town. So it's really cool. Once we go down this little, once we go down here a little bit, we'll, we'll take the photo back here. I think that's what they're doing right here. They're getting their selfie <laughs> planting in the in the little light post there that's really creative of them but yeah if we turn around here we should be able to get a nice view of the castle in the background so there we go from here we get the nice castle up there overlooking everything and yeah really cool sight anyway i think we're going to finish this video here today guys so Hope you enjoyed today's long uncut ride video and we had a fun time riding from the tower 138 tower over here to Inuyama Castle. It was an unexpected unplanned kind of ride but I'm glad we were able to come over here and ride most of the way on the river path. Anyway we're going to sprint back on the river path and we got to make our way back to the tower park so thanks for joining today guys. Be sure to give the video a like and we'll see you next time here on Tubal Cruise. Bye bye. Bye bye. Also be sure to check out Toon Chan's video here as well. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Bye bye. Bye bye.